Now what is up my fellow prod coders and welcome to this video and today we'll use our custom react hook. So let's go to our code editor and let's head over to our search component. So the first thing we'll do is we'll import our use business search hook from our hooks directory from the Yelp API and from the use business search file. So just to recap, uh, this guy here uh, is going to kick off a search with the Yelp API and it's going to return four things. Uh, the businesses, the total amount of results, uh, the search parameters with which it was kicked off, uh, which with which the search was executed and um, a setter for the search parameters. And remember, this, this setter here is basically kicking off a new search every time you call it. So basically you could call this function as well uh, something like um, perform search. But since we are here inside a hook, um, the convention is to always have the name of the variable and then the setter. But in the outside world, we can name it whatever we want. So we can just say a const these four things equals use business search and the initial search term and the initial location param um, are the values that we pull from our query string. And fortunately, we already have that. So that's pretty cool. And we can call this hook here. So let's save this and let's go to our browser. And I just want to quickly show you something. So I'm going to clear this and I'm going to reload the page. And bam, <laughs> you see, we kind of have ourselves a situation here. We get a 403 error. And this is somehow a real problem. If we go to network, then we see, oh, there's something red. And in here, you see that this options request failed. And this is a typical um, cross origin problem. So the Yelp API is basically expecting a server to server communication. Like it's not meant to be client, like front end uh, to Yelp server. This is not the way you're actually supposed to use it. And uh, that's why they also use the Spira token, because if you run your own server, like it's no problem of having this Spira token because the server code is not exposed to anyone. And uh, what they also did is since they expect server to server communication, like you don't need something like cross origin resource sharing and cross origin resource sharing is a security mechanism that is built into every modern browser. And um, what the browser does is it's going to do a pre flight, so to say for specific requests. So before it's going to perform the requests, it's going to ask the server, hey, server, um, from which origins do you actually accept requests? And then typically the server returns, I accept a request from this particular domain or from all domains or whatever. And right now, or like as it is right now, Yelp just doesn't support this. And whenever the browser like makes, makes this options request, it just doesn't work because the server will say, oh, I don't know about anything about that uh, unauthorized. And that's why our browser will refuse to perform this request. It's just a security mechanism. And in order to work around that, so this is like the second workaround we need to do in order to make our project run with uh, the Yelp API and the viewer tokens, um, we can use something called Course Anywhere. So Course Anywhere is uh, an open source project by Rob uh, dash dash w and it's pretty cool so what it does is it um, it's bas it basically acts as a proxy so all you have to do is you need you send that request to a specific url like this one and then we can actually open a new tab and have a look at this so here you see some description so you send a request to this URL, you append the URL to which you want to make a request to, and then this guy here is going to return you the proper cross origin responses. So your browser will not block the request. And we're going to use that 
just for development purposes because as i already said it's a tutorial uh, we have like the bureau tokens in our um, on our front end code which you normally wouldn't have but let's just do the front end first and then later on we can move that logic to our own server and then we don't need something like this any anymore so the bottom line is we need to use this uh, course anywhere uh, thing in order to do to perform our request and all we need to do is we just need to copy this we go to our config file and we're just going to prepend this over here so this app will basically take everything after the URL and this is going to be the actual request uh, or it will take everything after the its own domain and this is where it's going to send a request to and it's also going to send all the headers and all these kind of things along so that's pretty nice if we save this then and we go back to our browser and we reload the page oops you see now all of a sudden that red thing is gone and that is because this proxy is making the request for us and again it's just for development purposes right so don't run this in production at least not yet or at least only run it in production once you have like proper uh, course a proper course policy and you can see we're performing a request and um, yeah we see these two query parameters over here and that looks actually pretty good i would say why is something like that uh, to be honest i don't know why i see something like that here but we are going to see in a second that our thing is now working and this is also the reason if you had wondered before why we're sending along this uh, origin header uh, just because this uh, course anywhere application just needs to have an origin um, yeah so that's pretty nice now our request is working so we can go back to search and uh, let's just pass the search results down i would say so we say businesses equals businesses okay and then where's our search for results in here right now we only have hard-coded values so that's a little bit like uh, sad i would say because it sh just shouldn't be hard-coded anymore because now we have data so what we can do is we can just say if just to be safe if props.business oops this is the autocomplete of these code sometimes it's uh, if props of businesses or better to say if not props of businesses or if props dot businesses dot length so either if we don't have a businesses prop or the length is uh, zero then we are going to do i don't know we are going to return nothing or like an empty div okay and then once we have something we are just going to create our search results so we'll just say const search results equals props.businesses.map so that means go over every single uh, business and create a search result uh, component out of it and we're going to pass the business as prop be here right and one thing here if we use this map uh, function we should always give it a key so it's easier for react to render and this key must be unique and bear in mind that in postman like we get an id for each business and this seems to be unique so i guess we can just use it here's a little typo so we can just copy this uh, remove this and then we can just say search results and even though 
we haven't done anything with that yet we can actually already check if it works because if we previously remember we had these two uh, two results and if we reload the page bam all of a sudden we have multiple results so it seems as if we already have something that is working so that's pretty good and one thing I see that we accidentally have this type here so let's just remove that one okay and right now we're not doing anything with uh, the respective data that we get and uh, I would say let's just do this in the next uh, lecture because this video is already getting quite long so thank you very much for watching please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and also if you have any feedback or any ideas or any project ideas uh, make sure to subscribe to the email list I've put in the uh, description below so I'll send a poll around from time to time and then you guys can decide what we will build next again thank you very much for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see a lot of you guys in the next video.